It took us exactly one hour. One hour to finish this game, you guys. Holy crap. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is going to be our speed running video in No Man's Sky. I can't wait to show you guys this, so we can get pretty quick on this. My goal in this guide is to show you how to beat the community expedition in under two hours real lifetime. So if you got two hours to spare and you really need to get the, the expedition done, the Utopia expedition, I will have it covered for you. So it's not an ultimate speed run. Like we can get our times down to about an hour, but we can get it. You know, I can show you how to do it generically, how to get it under two in real life, which is really, really good, really, really quick, especially if you guys want to wait till the last minute to get the expedition done. I don't recommend that. We have the entire uh, month of March to get it done. I would always recommend, hey, go out there and do it now. That way you don't have to stress out and do it later on. So I have a timer on the screen. You guys are going to see it. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to like do any kind of uh, playing around on it. So you see the timer. I will show you exactly what we're going to be doing. Now, if you want an in-depth, detailed walkthrough, I have a whole different series for that. I'm assuming that you're going to be more of an experienced No Man's Sky player for this guide. I'm not going to explain everything step by step. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing at that time. That way you guys can mimic it and do it. I mean, you know, I do like to talk a lot, so I probably will explain some of it, you know? And it's especially, we're going through... I kind of want to, you know, talk about some of the things I like, some of the things that I, I wish they would have changed in this uh, expedition, because there's some things that I wish that they would have uh, adjusted, let's say. So the first thing you want to do is when you first got up here, you want to get 300 carbon because we need to make a base and your base has to have 15 pieces on it. And so on an average, you're going to need about 300 carbon to make 15 pieces for your base so yeah just, so you're just trying to get as much carbon as you can as quickly as you can just to knock it out we're already at 240 we'll be at 270 pretty soon here yep 280 and boom that should be it all right so now we gotta put down our base computer you they give it to you right off the bat so you don't need to worry about making it but in the other ones you do so we're gonna need to farm a lot of resources while we're here i always like to use these uh you know these animations to kind of move my stuff around because you can't do anything in this whole expedition or this animation anyway, so you might as well, right? So now we can start deploying our base. Now, you, the first one, I always make a real base. So I'll put four floors down, put your walls all around the building, just like a normal base. It's very plain, but this is the minimum amount, amount before it'll actually register. So we also make a door. And you don't have to, but I like to to make it a realistic looking one there you go done and done and then you need to upload it that's their next one we're gonna hit so you can name it if you want to i'm just gonna upload the base because we're doing a speed run here we're trying to get it done as quick as possible so those are two done right there now the other thing you can do because we're not gonna we're not gonna come back to this base go into your build menu and destroy this thing because you can get all your carbon back that way you don't have to refarm all that carbon back again. So definitely do that, I would recommend. And now that we have a base here, we can start putting some stuff in here like that. Boom. We need to refine all that uh, copper down into uh, chromatic metal. And while you're here, we can also build creature pallets because we have a, a little creature right here. This will give you a cool advantage. There we go. Fed him. And now we adopt him, and then we're going to put him away. So I don't want him in my way. He's just going to be running around. Done. Next thing you want to do is get a whole bunch of ferrite dust. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make our tools real fast. So we're going to need four of these nanotubes because you need three for your uh, bolt caster and one for your analysis visor. So let's install that real quick. We're going to move that over here. I'm adjusting this. That way I can just get some more room in here. Analysis visor. We have our nanotubes right there. Let's go back over to our suit. Now that we have our chromatic metal, we can make our bolt caster. Just get that done and over with now. So we'll pop that in here. Bolt caster. We're not going to use this later on, but you need to build it in order to get the uh, milestone. So, of course, you want to do that. Next thing you want to do is we need to get some ferrite dust in order to make some ammunition. We're also going to need a lot of ferrite dust in order to get our, uh, our uh, metal plating in order to make our exocraft. 
You can scan all the stuff if you want to. I'm doing that because I want to get the dihydrogen out of it. And I would always recommend, especially if you want to, you know, do a speed run, you want to get your, your money's worth out of your mining. So definitely do that. These little mushrooms will give you condensed carbon. That's why I scan those. You're getting condensed carbon as you're doing it. Very easy. Just knock it out. Now we should actually, you know, what? we should accept some of these rewards. That way we can get some good stuff going on here. And also the other thing is you want to, let's see. Oh, I got it. Boom. Let's make our uh, ammunition for our weapon. We're going to put our ammunition right here. And now what we need to do, we have our advanced mining laser. We got to use that. Now what you want to do is accept the reward for your pet. So your pet is in phase two, accept that reward. We're going to use that in there general. That way we have more room to pick up items. We're going to install this uh, suit upgrade right here. And now we should have our uh, our next one, our next milestone, which is building the basics. Let's do that. Oh, it's in phase one. There it is. Provisions right here. You wanted to do the uh, getting a pet first because when you uh, when you accept the reward for a pet, it gives you some life support gel, and that's what you need to build in there anyway. So there you go. That way we didn't have to build our own uh, life support gel. So now we need to farm a whole bunch of uh, ferrite dust because we need to make some, we need to make five metal plating, at least five. I would say make more of it if you can, because you're going to need a lot of copper. You're going to need a lot of ferrite dust. So grab as much as you can while you can. We have a lot. Let me see how much we have. We have 127. That's not enough. The other thing I noticed is that we're next to some uh, water. We have water around here. Maybe we'll have some shells. That we can get some stuff out of. And uh, the other thing you want to do while you're here is... Oh, yeah. There's a shell right here. Are you kidding me? How is there a shell down there? What? All right. Let's do this. Let's see. Where's the shell at? Is it down underground? Oh, my God. It's way down there. Oh, never mind. We're not doing that. I don't want to get lost in the cave. So we're going to ignore that completely. The other thing you want to do is grab some sodium while you're out here. Because we're going to need this later on. And so, again, while you're out here, might as well grab it, right? We're going to grab uh, some dihydrogen crystals that way we can make our jelly we need to get some uh, pure ferrite in order to fix our ship as well so that's why we're getting a lot of ferrite dust to look for the big rocks to make some uh pure ferrite out of the uh the mushrooms will give you condensed carbon so grab those as well that way we can just use that boom 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 there we go condensed carbon on that one get that one going we have our big rock over here. We can analyze it. I think it gives us dihydrogen. It does give us dihydrogen. You're going to get dihydrogen everywhere. So they don't like to give you the really good stuff on the first planet. I understand that. They want you to expand out. But hey, we're gonna, we're here to get all the good stuff. So done. We should have enough ferrite dust to make our metal platings. Five. There we go. We need to make a jelly real fast. Boom. Now what we need to do also is make our ExoCraft platform. I like using the Nomad. And then we're going to delete it to get our metal plating back. And it leaves your Nomad. It leaves your Exocraft in there. We're going to grab that reward real fast. There we go. So now we can make our... Uh, we need to make our Hermetic Seal. You need that for sure. You don't want to leave that. Because you can't make anything when you're outside of your base building area. So you don't want to leave without doing that. All right. So now we are good. So the first thing is, we know our ship is that way. Do we have any copper? We have some sodium. We're going to look for copper in that direction. We don't have any copper in that direction. That's okay. We'll slowly look for copper. We need copper before we leave this planet, you guys. You want to try to farm up as much copper as you possibly can get. So, is this the water area? This might be the water. Yep, this is the water. So, let's look for some pearls while we're here. Because we're going to use that. So, where are you at? Okay, we got a lot of pearls down here. All right, we're good. Let's knock out these pearls while we can. Is this one? Yep, right here. Give me that. Beautiful. We got to recharge our uh, thing here. Done and done. We got a whole bunch of pearls down there. We got underwater animals. One underwater animal. Done. I assume that's one. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see later on. Um, We're going to have to dig down, aren't we? Okay, I think we are. Nope. Give me that. Give me that pearl. Or that animal. Excuse me. Animal. Let's go. Now, you don't have to... Don't rely on this because you don't know where you're going to spawn up. 
you can spawn near the water, but it's not a guarantee. So you might not want to, you know, uh, focus on, on this. I am because we're here. And you know, if we're here, we might as well, right? There we go. We got our three water animals. That was easy enough. But again, you might not you might not be lucky enough to get that early on. So if that's the case, you have to do it on the next one, on the next planet. That's fine, too. Let's see if I can get my shells in here. Come on. There you are. We got one pearl. Two. We need three total. There we go. We got three. Done. All right. Easy enough, right? So now we got our pearls and our, our underwater animals. I'm loving it. Easy enough, right? So let's get back to our rover. We can call it in over here. Done. And... Oh, wait a minute. We're in the water. We can't call it in underwater. Great. Okay. That's okay, though. We got a lot of stuff there. Oh, is that... That's not the sodium. Is that copper? That is copper over there. Wait a minute. We don't want to go the opposite way of our ship. Oh, yeah. Like that. You don't want to do that. That's kind of a waste of time. So, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to look for a copper in that direction. There's none. Great. That's fine. So, let's go over here. And... There are some that you can get ahead of time. Some milestones you can get ahead of time. Like the water. You can get your uh, underwater animals. You can also get your... Look at that worm! You can also get your pearls ahead of time. There are some that are locked. Like, I can't scan the underwater... I can't scan plants here. You have to wait till you get to your third planet. The, uh, the hazardous planet that you don't want to... The uh, sentinel planet. You have to scan your plants on that one. Not on this one. So, some of them are locked. Some of them are not. It doesn't matter for the speed run overall. If you do it now or you do it later, it's still going to take you the same amount of time. So I would say take advantage if you're near water. If you're not, that's totally fine too. Don't even worry about it. Let's see if I can call in my uh, exocraft over here. Nope, I got to get over here near the what? Near the edge. We have any uh, any copper around here? We can also get our humming sacks if you want to get ahead of time on that as well. So we can do this. This is a cave. Remember, you need five humming sacks on this original planet. This, uh, you know, this planet that we start on. So, where is it at? Oh, it's down in there. You don't want to farm right into it because then you'll kill it. You want to farm to the side of it and open up the cave like that. That way you don't destroy the eggs when you land on them. Oh my god, look at that. We're going to get all of our five of the humming sacks we need. All the five of the pearls we need right here. Dude! We have, this is a really good start. Guys, this might be a record level start right here. Good Lord. We are getting everything knocked out early. Now we do need a lot of copper. So I'm getting a little nervous about not seeing any copper. Other than that though, everything else is working out in like amazingly. So let's keep going towards our ship over here. And as we're, we're gliding along, I'm going to be looking for any kind of golden deposit on the uh, edges. That's why I'm in third person mode. I want to look for any golden uh, things. They could be sodium and they could be chromatic metal. So, or not chromatic metal. They could also be, uh, what's it called? Copper. I see a yellow thing over here. Well, we're going to farm this. We're going to need this later on. So let's grab that while we're here. Grab that sodium nitrate. You can also turn this into regular sodium. So, of course, you want to grab that. Really rare to see that. So let's grab that while we're here. Do we not have any freaking copper around here? Man, that's the one thing. I got everything else except for the copper. Look at that. I got my underwater stuff. I got my humming sacks. I don't got any copper, though. Oh, there. Never mind. I take it back. There's some copper, I'm hoping. It looks like a copper. Oh, there's a couple of them. Oh, I hope so. I hope there's a couple of coppers in here. All right. So, there we go. I use the middle size. You can use the smaller size if you want to. If you want to get it done real fast... You would use the smaller size because the smaller your terrain manipulator is, the more resources you get. However, it's going to take you longer to get this mineral deposit emptied. So you're, you're uh, trading off your time for a little bit more copper. You can if you want to. I always go with the middle size because we have five different planets we're going to be visiting. You have five different chances to get a lot of copper. So it's not that big of a deal. If you want to just knock it out, go for it. It might make your, your life a little bit easier, especially for the third planet, which is the high security planet with all the sentinels that want to kill you. 
I would recommend not spending too much time on that third one because, man, it is a pain in the neck. There's another one over here I saw. Look at that. Boom. Man, we are rocking and rolling, guys. We got a lot of stuff. We're only 15 minutes in, too. This is so good. This is such a good start. Now, again, this is a very lucky start. You, you might not run into this much luck. I got really lucky on this one. Hopefully, this luck, you know, sticks sixth around for a while. That way, we can get a record-setting one. Oh, yeah. I Hopefully. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Well, let's see. Get all this. Oh, yeah. While we're doing this, let's start refining some of our... Uh, oh, yeah. We need to refine our... Uh, our ferrite dust into pure ferrite. That way we can fix our ship. And then let's start refining all this copper. Oh my God, 700 copper. Guys, we are set for a while. That, that's going to give us around 400 chromatic metal. That means we're good for the next uh, two different levels, two different uh, locations, two different planets, whatever you want to call it. So we are going to be golden for a while. So let's grab that. Again, planning ahead. We're trying to get this done as quickly as possible, but also as easily as possible. You don't want to make your life too difficult. So if you're stressed out by doing a speed run, probably not the video for you. I have a whole walkthrough, a whole guide on how to do it really like relaxed, easy. Remember, you actually, you don't need to do a speed run in this expedition because we have the whole month of March in order to do this. So you don't need to do it this quickly. I like doing it. It's fun for me. So a lot of people, they just say, nah, you know what? I don't I don't need the stress in my life. I'll just do it now and get it over with. And it'll take me a couple weeks, but I'll be good. And that's fine. However you want to play that's fun for you, do it. Let's grab that. Albion Pearl spawn. There we go. So I'm not seeing any more um, stuff. There we go. We got our uh, glove. Very cool. So we're going to be able to make our uh, glove in the next one. Very cool. And it's all going to be in our... Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't want to leave it in there. Because I'm not going to use my uh, exocraft pretty soon here. Optical drill. Yep. Okay, good. Now we're going to get double the resources when we do that. And there is our, our awesome, awesome uh, hauler. There it is. And we got our, you know, our scenic route. That one's done. So we got that. Let's knock out some of these other uh, things we got. There we go. And there we go. And one more. There we go. So let's get in the, let's get in our hauler. We have all our equipment that we need. There we go. Welcome settler. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you. Now we need to fix our ship that is broken. That's cool. Done. We have all that material. Let's take this out real fast. Oh, wait a minute. We haven't refined it all because we ran out of materials. That's fine, though. Boom. There it is. We can also put more in there. That way we can refine it all. So we need to fix it. Pop this in. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. There we go. Now we're done. So the other thing I would say is while you're here, shoot the rock. Shoot the ground and get your ferrite dust. Get a whole bunch of ferrite dust. We're going to need a lot of it. I mean, also, if you want to keep your eyes peeled for any copper, you can see it from the air if you can. Then great. Land and get it. But, I mean, at the minimum, you want to try to get as much of the ferrite dust as you possibly can right now. Again, we're, we're prepping for later on. So, I mean, you're going to get a lot of carbon here. That's fine. You're focused on getting a lot of this freaking uh, the metal plating. So you want ferrite dust. Boom, boom, boom. So we're looking for the rocks just kind of chilling out. You can get some uh, condensed carbon. There you go. There we are. There it is. And okay, we're good. So now we need to go towards our next objective, Alpha. So it's going to be a little bit of ways. It depends. Again, you have a random spawn. So it depends on where you spawn at. You might be closer. You might be farther away. Mine is pretty far out there. So I, so I basically loaded up on the opposite end of the planet. Holy crap. We're going to move all this in there. Into my suit. There we go. Easy enough. And then 
while you're flying in, keep a, you know, keep your eye on the ground. You can shoot the ground and get some of that going. We're trying to get a lot of ferrite dust. There we go. So, boom. We're trying to get as much as we possibly can. So, you can also, you can do this on all the other planets as well. It doesn't work on just this planet. You can get it on any other other planet. So, as you're flying around, when you have to, because they force you to fly around and look for stuff. As you do that, you can just uh, shoot the ground, get some uh, ferrite dust, and be good to go. There we are. Whole bunch of ferrite dust there. All right, so let's land over here. We need to get our instructions from uh, base Alpha. Land. What was that? That was a weird setup. Okay. That was weird. I've never seen that happen before. That was a weird bug. That's okay, though. It ended up being good in our favor, so we're good on that. Let's grab this. Gotta go in here to the Planetary Archive. Hit it. You're good to go. The next one's also gonna be on the Planetary Archive as well, so keep that in mind. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Let's go. Get out of here. So now we're going to the next planet, the Volcano Planet. We're 20 minutes in. And we're already going to the next planet, guys. I'm really feeling good about this. Getting some more ferrite dust real fast. Get up in the atmosphere. And there we go, right there. So while we're traveling there, I'm going to go through my inventory, kind of organize it, move the stuff I need to move. Uh, use the stuff I need to use. We don't need the uh, any of the exocraft stuff. There we go. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. This needs to be moved down here. Sodium. Nitrates over here. We can use that for fuel. We don't need that blue one. We can refine that into better stuff. Done. We need this for our uh, pure ferrite. We can also refine the pearls. We're going to refine the pearls. Actually, we should do that right now. So let's stop this real quick. We need to refine the pearls into gold. And then we can refine the gold and the pyrite. We're going to use the pyrite for our fuel for the pulse drive. Instead of using tritium, we're going to use pyrite. That's why you want to do that. Just knock that out easy because you're going to be using a lot of pulse drive fuel. Like, look, we're already at 18%. We're going to need that later on. So, yeah, definitely want to use that. All right. So, oh, wait a minute. We have to accept some of these other rewards, you guys. Wow, I haven't accepted all my rewards because I'm not paying attention. There we go. There we go. Phase one done. There we go. And then you don't want to be in your menu when you break the atmosphere on a planet. Because for whatever reason, it'll bounce you off and you'll have to reorientate yourself. So just don't be in a menu while you break planet side. After you get here, sure. But not when you do the, uh, the atmosphere. So as we're looking around for our planetary archive, there it is right there. We're going to shoot the ground. We also want to get some of the uh, ferrite dust out of here as well. And then we're going to land there. Easy enough. Use that. Um, a shield. Great. I don't know if that's going to help me. I don't think we're going to be in any battles. But hey, you know what? I'm going to install it. And if we need to later on, we can delete it for a room. So not a big problem. Let's recharge that life support. When it's around 20%, I like to keep it really low. Like, I don't want to recharge it with a life support gel too early because... If you did not know, life support shell fills you up all the way. So if you are like at 78% and you use a life support shell, I feel like it's a waste. Like you just wasted it because you can also get 100%. You can totally fill your life support from like zero if you are all the way down to the bottom. So you're good on that. Now we're in here. We're going to accept that one. Let's start flying. We're going to open up that container and open up the location. And because it's randomized, you really can't plan for this. So, oh, we know ours is a little farther away. So, shoot the ground. Get a little bit more resources from the uh, dirt and everything. Now, this planet is going to have a lot more of the uh, ferrite dust than any other planet. A lot of the other planets, they'll have a lot more carbon. This one, because it's a volcano planet, it's going to have a lot more rocks, a lot more minerals on it. So, this is where you can farm a ton of your ferrite dust. Just get it done. We're also going to be looking for a volcano. 
And as you can see, I'll scan as I go inside because that location is not exactly where you need to go. Usually, not always, usually, whatever building pops up, that is going to be the one you have to go to. So I, I figure this is going to be the location we need to go into. It's always going to be right here. Uh, or a building, I should say. So, where it should be here. There it is! Easy enough, right? Let's grab this. We have our pyrite. There we go. So we need to make some more ferrite dust. And while we're here, there it is. You want to grab any ferrite dust you can. Again, you can scan it if you want to. I'm just grabbing whatever I can quickly. We're going to make some fuel as well. So let's do this. Get a whole bunch of this dihydrogen crystals. That way we can get a lot of fuel going. And done. And you don't have to build your base here at that location. You, I do usually, but you don't have to. It's not a requirement to do this. Let's open this up. There we go. We're at 316. We're going to need more than that. So let's pop this down real quick. The other thing is we need magnetized ferrite for this step. So we don't have any magnetized ferrite. That's fine. Get some regular sodium. So what we can do is we can refine our uh, pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. You need to take 50 pure ferrite to get 25 magnetized ferrite. Let's see what this does. I haven't actually scanned this planet in a while. Oh, carbon. Great. We don't need that, but that, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Not something I want. I was hoping for maybe pure ferrite and like chromatic metal. That would have been good. All right. So now we're going to need to refine some of this out into. Yep. We need 50. So let's grab another few. There we go. So we'll get 25. That's what we need. Beautiful. So while that's cooking, let's pop down a base computer. Done and done. Here we go. And then we're going to go in this menu. We need to go to our starship. Oh, we don't have enough room. That's okay. Or we're, we're too far away, I should say. So that's all right. We have 129. We're good. So now we need to make a base, but we don't need to make a full base. You just need to have 15 pieces. So I always choose the floorboards. 15 pieces for the floorboards, and now we're good. Upload that base. There you go. So now we got to get all these uh, rewards here. Done and done. So now we learned our, our exosuit uh, thing here. Wait a minute. We need to get our magnetized ferrite. I, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's grab our magnetized ferrite out of there. Beautiful. So now we need to pop down our exosuit craft, uh, exosuit station. That's the one you need 25 magnetized ferrite for. That's why we were cooking it. Go in the menu, back out. All right, done and done. So now we need to find a volcano and then we get we're done with this one. So let's find a volcano real fast. You can't land on a volcano. That's not possible, but you can get as close as you can though. You don't have to walk for miles and miles. Let's see where we can find a volcano at. They should load up. Man, okay, there it is, right over here. So you can land pretty close to it. You're not going to land exactly on it. That's fine. But you can get pretty close. Let's lo let's uh, go slow. That way we can let the everything load in. There you go. That way it knows what you're destroying. All right, done and done. So we just got to climb to the summit. The biggest thing is you just need to be hurt by extreme temperatures, extreme heat. So you don't need to go in there and sit for a certain amount of time or anything like that. The second you get hurt, you're done. You're good. So let's run up here real quick. Let's go. So this is not going to hurt me. Watch. Look, at this is lava. I can't get hurt by it. But at a certain point, it will start damaging you. There you go. Done and done. That's all you need. Just get hurt a little bit and you're done. Oh, there's some copper over here. So let's get this copper while we're here. So again, you have multiple chances to get copper. Might as well get it while we're here, right? Done and done. All right. Get this copper. That way we can turn this into chromatic metal for the next area. Because the next, uh, the next uh, planet is going to be the high security, the sentinel planet. You do not want to mess around on that planet. It is a pain in the butt. That is where you're going to find the most issues 
the most likelihood that you're going to run into an issue, a problem. So you'll get attacked by sentinels and you can't leave, that kind of stuff. So you don't want to deal with that unless you absolutely have to. So minimize it as much as possible. So that's everything in this one. That's phase two done. Phase two done in 29 minutes. Man, we are rocking and rolling. All right. Let's get going here. Refuel. There it is. And we have to make our fuel the next one because now we have no fuel. That's okay. Let's pop this one. That way we know where we're going. And where is it at? Let me see where it is. Perfect. There it is. We got a minute and a half. So we'll get rid of the fireworks. We don't need that. We don't need this. We want that. We don't need the food. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We can keep that if we need health later on. Oh, yeah. We need to re refill with pyrite. That's why we got the pyrite. And speaking of that, we need to move that out of our general inventory. So where are you at, pyrite? There we go. We're going to refine that. Get rid of the glass. You don't need that. Scanner. We'll use that because we need money. Jetpack upgrade. Yes, we don't need these. We don't need that. We're going to need some more pure ferrite, but we have the uh, volcano milestone will give you that pure ferrite you need. So there we go. There we go. So we can install this if you want to. Oh, wait a minute. We're running out of fuel in there. So we need that real quick. There we go. Easy enough. Done and done. Done and done. We can refine that into ferrite dust if you want. We might do that just because we're going to need some later on. We have this. We're, at, we're good. I think we're all set up now. We're good. We got all of our milestones done. There we go. Third one. We're on the third phase already. 30 minutes in. Third phase. Very good time. Very good time. So again, we're going to need 25 sodium. We're also going to need 25 sodium nitrate. I have both of those. I collected those already. So we're ahead of the game on that. Make sure we're refilling all of this. We're gonna, we have our plenty of our pure ferrite. We're gonna need more of it, but right now we're good. We're just gonna do the bare minimum to get this planet done. So on the purple planet, you're gonna need to scan plants. You're gonna need to get some star bulbs when you're here. And that's it. Build your base, get your star bulbs, get the heck out of here. Scan those plants. Don't spend any more time than you need to here. We already got our pearls. We already scanned our animals underwater. So we don't need to do any of that stuff in phase three that's already done where's our planetary archive right there so again shoot the ground and we're gonna get mostly carbon from this that's okay there we go and we're just land over here we're just land there's no rocks around here we're not getting anything from the ground you don't get anything unless you're shooting rocks and stuff so might as well just go with the flow there's no rocks get out of there yep you don't want to mess around with this one Pain in the butt, guys. Pain in the butt. So just do minimum. We're going to do the, the least amount of work we need to do to get this thing done. Okay, I get it. They're trying to remind me constantly, like every five seconds. Stream Sentinel, I get it. All right. Now, again, we won't accept the reward until we get into our ship and start flying away. The reason for that is you don't want this, uh, you don't want the map, the chart to take you out and, you know, do the zoom out, zoom in thing. So we're going to open it up, use that chart. And it'll mark the location. Let's go. Now, yeah, that's why. Look, at, we didn't do any zoom out, zoom in. We just literally marked the location and we're done. So now we're good. Let's fly over here to our building location. Don't need that. We're going to use this. We need the pulse spitter because that is a way better weapon than the, uh, than the bolt caster. At least early on. At least early on. Ultimately, the bolt caster is the better weapon because you get more upgrades on it. But because we're doing a speed run and we're just trying to go as quickly as possible, Pulse Spitter does more damage in the early part of the game. So that's why you want to do that. We're going to need to make our glove in here. We also need to make our uh, nutrient processor. I didn't scan before. Okay, right, we're going to go here. I'm guessing this is going to be our build location. I should have landed on a landing pad. Oh, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I'm guessing this is our, our building area. Yep, this is our building area. So that is our building area. I haven't had a building area be a planetary archive, guys. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. So we need to get in here. There it is. Done and done. Oh, my God. Is there actual uh, carbon over here or uh, copper over here? Is that copper? Copper deposit? Oh, my God. All right. 
We are... This is so lucky. All right. We're going to build here. We're going to claim the site. Claim it. All right, you guys. I am feeling really good about this one. Literally planetary archive here. That is amazing. Let's grab that. 72. Let's grab this. And we need to make our base, of course. 15 pieces. So put our 15 floors down real fast. Done and done. We're going to upload. That way we get our uh, thing here. Done and done. Perfect. Now we need to grab that. Now we can build our portable exocraft station. Let's do that real fast. Exocraft technology. Back out of it. Let's try to get some of this copper. Look at that. That was so lucky. We need to scan eight plants. Remember that. We need eight plants in order to, to move on. So, And you can only scan the eight plants on this planet. None of the other planets count. So, And I'm doing it right here because if we run into trouble with the Sentinels, I can run back to the Planetary Archive. Whatever building you're, uh, you're next to, they will mark the location of a building. Hopefully it has a shelter in it. You can run away to that shelter and you'll be safe. Sentinels won't go inside of a building because they're not allowed to. There we go. Oh my god, this is the best deposit of all time. Look at this. So freaking easy. So freaking fast. Done and done. There we go. So Sentinels are going to be, you know, trying to bother me, trying to mess with me. That's fine. Done and done. God, Lord, guys. And we have another deposit around here. We might have all the uh, the copper we need at this point. Just because we got really lucky with our copper deposits. Look at this thing. It's massive. And again, if you use the smaller one, you'll get more out of this. I'm using the medium-sized one because obviously we don't need it. I mean, I might eat my words at the end of this. It's always phase five when I run out of copper and I'm like, God dang it. So we'll see. We'll see. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to need to make our glove. That way we can get our star bramble here. Dun, dun. There we go. Okay, we're good on that. Let's run away. So we're near our base. Let's try to install our uh, glove real fast. Gauntlet. There we go. Chromatic metal and sodium. We got it. So now we have our gauntlet. Let's install this upgrade here. Let's install... Wait, we don't need that. We uh, will take the uh, aircraft upgrade. Done. We'll take this, I guess. We'll start refining that. We'll get rid of that. Now, what we need to do is we need to make our... Um, wait a minute. We need to accept some rewards here. Sorry. We need to accept some rewards. All right. Done and done. So now we can make a nutrient processor. We need a hermetic seal. Remember, you can't make this outside of your base. So you need to make it here. Now, once we have it done, you don't need to keep it. Just destroy it or pick it back up. That way you don't have to worry about it. Now, we can place that nutrient processor anywhere we want. You don't have to be at a base for that to happen. We have any star bramble around here. Um, impulse beans. We do need that. We have magnetized ferrites. Where is my star bramble? Is it over here? Impulse beans. We do need impulse beans. You only need one of every food. So they're going to give you more than one. That's fine. You only need one in order for this to work. So you don't need to have a whole bunch of extra stuff. We need to find Star Bramble though. Come on, Star Bramble. Where are you? Because Star Bramble is not going to be on any other planet that we're going to. We're only going forward. We're not going backwards. So we need to find that Star Bramble. Where are you? Where are you? No way around here, huh? And again, we're in a building, so we're good on that. They won't come in here. So, extra craft boost module. We don't need that. Put that down. We only need one of these. So, we'll put that down. We only need one bean. We're good. Make sure I'm refining and I have enough energy for the rest of it. Beautiful. And we're up to 600 already. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, we need Star Bramble. Oh, yeah. We also need to make our uh, fuel. We need to make our uh, launch fuel, you guys. So... In order to get launch fuel, we need a metal plating and dihydrogen. So we're going to make a couple of those. Can we make some metal platings? There we go. We got four. 
Where are you at, Star Bramble? Are you there? Impulse Bean? Really? Really? You really gonna do this to me, huh? Star Bramble! There it is! Now, I'm not gonna waste any of my launch fuel on this, so I'm gonna try to do this without calling in my ship. I might, I might regret that. Is that copper? Magnetized ferrite? Did we get our, uh, oh, did we scan all of our plants? We probably didn't, you guys. So we need to scan our plants as well. So make sure to be looking at these plants, scan them. Keep in mind, oxygen counts. Make sure that uh, sodium counts as well. So scan all those. They all count as plants. So do that, take advantage of it. Take advantage of the fact that you can get more than what you believe you can get. Dun, 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 dun. Bushes also count, so these count. There you go. Where is my other stuff here? You can also scan for some uh, oxygen. There we go. Where is any other uh, plant? What are we at? What are we at? We need uh, two more, two more. So oxygen for sure would count like this. This one right here, that plant too. Exploders, did I already scan the exploders? The hazardous plants, they count. There we go. So we got that one. Let's grab it. Uh, it's in the middle of uh, activating. There it is. Done and done. Don't get me, Sentinel. Don't get me. There we go. Crap. Land. Land. You don't want to deal with the Sentinels in the air. You can run away from them on the ground. In the air, you have to kill them. And even then, they'll send in reinforcements. So do this real quick just to get away from them we're gonna we're gonna lead them over here we gotta we gotta uh hide for 13 seconds so what we can do is while we're here we can cook it so we can cook our bean there we go our star bramble you only need one so don't cook more than one if you're trying to do this fast you don't want to cook more than one. There we go. And re refine this into Pilgrim's Tonic. Pick it back up. Don't leave your nutrient processor. You're going to need this later on. We need to cook one more batch of items. So make sure to do that. Let's go. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Go, go, go. Sentinels are not chasing us. Good. Let's grab the next one. Yep, prepare the tonic and stuff. We're good. Let's go. Easy peasy on that. There we go. We don't need that. Get that out of my trash here. So we should have that cocoa and stuff done. There we go. Uh, as we're traveling, we're going to do this as well. I'm not going to delete this yet because I haven't gotten the milestone. I don't know why it hasn't triggered yet, but I'm getting a little nervous. We're going to put this in here. This is going to be our launch fuel now. We also can refill there. This tritium we're going to need for uh, materials later on. So that's why I'm going to move that. There we go. What else do we need to refine? I don't think we need to refine anything. Yep, we're good. We have everything we need. We don't need that. We can. Oh, yeah, we can get a ferrite dust out of there. Um, we don't need these Albion Pearls, but we, we'll keep it anyway, just because I feel more comfortable with it. Uh, we have the Sweet Cocoa. We have the uh, Star Bramble. Nutrient Processor's there. So this is the part where I get a little nervous. I'm like, okay, why do we not get that? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. So we should have the, uh, the next step done. That will give me chromatic metal. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna destroy this. Get some chromatic metal out of that. Exosuit, exosuit. We're gonna keep this in our exosuit. We can eat this, but if you eat the food while you're in your ship, for whatever reason, it's a weird bug. It'll refill your ship health. So that's a good thing, I guess, but that's not really helpful when you're trying to refill your uh, human health. <laughs> 
You might need it for something other than that. All right, we have our ferrite dust here. So we're going to need more than that. So let's grab that. And we're going to start doing this. This can go in here. We can use this and our... Um, I guess not. Okay. We'll get rid of that. Done. Start refining that into pure ferrite. Again, make sure you're full. Technology we're not going to that one. We're going to this one. Outpost Delta. There we go. Now, why isn't this one popping? Now I'm getting a little nervous. All right. What does it say? Gather star bulbs and impulse beans. Reach a lush planet to har harvest local vegetables. We already did that. Oh, my God. It's going to kill me. All right. It's going to kill me. We're going to see, though. We're going to see. We have that. We need impulse beans. That's going to be nervous. That's going to make me nervous. We have our Pilgrim's Tonic. We have our, uh, our awesome sweet cocoa. I don't know what else we need. Grab this real quick. There it goes. So we're going to ignore that for now. Now we're on the phase four. And we're going to collect some food anyway. That's why we haven't gotten rid of our uh, refiner yet. Our nutrient processor. So I'm hoping that it updates when we land. That way we're good to go. We're going to hit that. Maybe not. We missed it. All right. Let's land here. We're going to pop down our nutrient processor when we land here. Just to see. You want to land? Oh my god, that's the worst landing I've ever seen. Oh my god, hopefully I don't get stuck. Hopefully I don't get stuck. That was... How did I go through the entire thing? That's insane. All right. This is not working out to my favor, you guys. Hopefully it doesn't hurt me. There we go. Done and done. Nutrient processor. There we go. Maybe if I just cook one star bramble. Come on. Oh my god, are you serious? It's not going to give it to me, is it? It's not going to give it to me, is it? There we go. So we need to do this as well. We need to open up our package. We need to find out where we need to go. We need to go over here. Let's go. We got it good. Don't need that. Don't need that. Is it really going to do this to me? I think it is. I think it is. There we go. So we're going to scan up here. Okay, that looks like that's going to be our... Uh, that might be our thing. Oh, that might be too far. No, no, we're good. We're good. I think that might be our building right here. So we know the building's right here. There we go. Right here. Done. Land here. Perfect. Oh, and a worm comes out right in the middle of this. Okay, great. Need to put this down. Make our base. Again, you don't have to build it here. It just makes it easier for me to do it like this. So, oh. let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Upload that base. There we go. So now, what we need to do is we need to look for these ones. Oh, my. Uh, upgrade. Uh, multi tool upgrade. We got to pop that one real quick. Let's do that. And multi tool upgrade. There it is. Multi tool upgrade. There we go. Get in here. Done and done. You don't have to buy anything. Just get in the menu. Done and done. So we got that one settled. Oh, it's right over there. Perfect. It's almost like it was meant to be. 
Hungry tendrils. We need to get eight of these worms. So we need to kill eight of them. Let's install some of these uh, these upgrades here. Done, done. One, two. Oh, come on. Two, three, four. Where's my other ones at? We're looking for these. Yep, yeah, these ones right here. Five. We have five out of eight. We need three more. We also need to get some cactus while we're running around looking for stuff. We have another worm factory, another Titan worm nest over here. Oh God, really? Thank you. Good Lord. Keep against the wall. That way it doesn't stop me. Here we go. Three more. One. Two. Where's the other one at? There it is. Three. Done and done. We're going to call in our ship. There it is. Do we have any uh, cactus around here? Aloe flesh. Where my cactus at? Where my cactus at? All right. Nowhere to be found, huh? Nowhere to be found. We're looking for a uh, plant looking thing. Aloe flesh again. I got fooled twice. That is a uh, wheat. All right. We're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to purge the site because there's going to be an egg over here. So let's do this real quick. Bum, bum, bum. Done and done. We also we need to get some cactus on our way. So that's okay. We got this. Come on. And there it is. Let's go over here to the purge site. This purge site, you're going to have to fight biological horrors, the big monsters that come out of the ground. And the way you trigger it is shooting one of the eggs. So you need to get one of these eggs anyway. So might as well come here first and get it done. Scan. All right. That's going to be our building probably. So let's come over here. Hopefully there's some cactus around here. We need cactus. Again, you only need one. So let's see what we're doing here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. There's cactus right there. Oh, of course, there's some worms right there. Land. There we go. So we need to get one egg, larval core, and then we have to shoot 10 monstrosities. There we go. Done. Shoot 10 of these guys. And this is why you use the pulse spitter. Look at this thing. Just destroying. Done, done. Three more. There we go. And one more. There we go. Done. Then we need to go inside. Check in here for the, uh, the notes. Get out of there. Get out of there. Done and done. Acceptable. Restore facility power. Done and done. We're skipping through all this because we're trying to do a speed run here. And this is going to tell us, hey, we need to go to the space station. There's some signal coming from the space station. That's great. But while we're here, because we need to get our cactus. Where's our cactus at? Um, pulpy roots. Anything cactus is quicker. Yep, it's right over here. Again, we have our uh, our nutrient processor. We don't need to be at a base to use it. But we do need to collect all the materials we need in here. And how many, how much, uh, we still have 600 uh, chromatic metal, which is amazing. Very, very good. Let's pop this in. Let's go. We just need to grab one. 
Put that nutrient processor down. Wait a minute. Before we go anywhere, we want to make sure to highlight the cooking step. That way we have that done. Um, let's do this. Maybe. Possibly. Let's check it. Then we also have to cook the uh, flesh ropes. And one. Done. We need to put the, the membrane with the uh, larval core. That way we can make a nightmare sausage. Done. And then we need to uh, cook the cactus flesh. We only need one. That way we can get some uh, nectar. And then we can use that nectar to make some sugar. There you are. And now you put the sausage and the sugar together and you'll make some disgusting sounding food. There we go. Should be good. Acquired a taste. There you go. So did we get the other one as well? We did not get this one. Good Lord. Are you kidding me? You're probably going to make me go get some freaking stuff, aren't you? They're probably going to make me go get an impulse bean again. There's no way. Nah. Okay, that's irritating. That's irritating that it didn't work. That it didn't actually register. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. Let's go to this one right here. Let's go. We got to go to the space station. And that's going to be right there. Beautiful. So we have some of these. Let's accept some of these rewards while we're here. Done. Done. Anything else? And we're missing that. We're missing that. Okay, we're good. So we can get rid of some of this stuff. Like gloaming beam. We can get rid of that. We can use this, actually. So we'll do that. We'll put that in there and then delete it. Any of the upgrades. We don't need any of this anymore. We don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need cactus anymore. We don't need that. We can install this and then delete it. There we go. Um, we can put this in and delete it just to get the materials from it. So I have everything. I don't know what the heck they want me to do now. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We have our processor. We have all this. So boom, boom. We're going to need some money. So we're going to need to sell some stuff. We need some more pure ferrite. That's what we need. Oh, we just need a little bit more because we already have 300. So we're going to need a little bit more ferrite dust. That's fine. Personal force field. And then get rid of it. There we go. There we are. And done. Easy enough. Uh, we don't need that anymore. Let's land in here. Get our stuff done. We're at 56 minutes. 57. Pretty dang good. We're, all, we're on the last phase. I mean, it did take us a little bit more time than I was hoping, but hey, we're going to have to go back to a lush planet, it looks like. So, I mean, not ideal, not record-breaking, not like I was hoping, but hey, it's still a speed run. We're still going to get it done in under two hours, well under two hours. So let's get this done. We're going to need to buy some items while we're here as well, so don't forget to buy the things you need, such as... Now we got that done. Beautiful. We're going to need to buy one quantum computer, three of the magnetic resonators, five microprocessors. Oh, no. We need to we need to sell some stuff here. Where's my gloaming beam? There you go. Gem, whatever. All right. So we need five microprocessors and then whatever else you can get. Whatever. Done. 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 You can get the pyrite if you want to. We have more than enough pyrite, though. More than enough. So now we're going to need to go down to this planet, this swampy planet. But first, we probably need to go get our dang um, impulse beans. So, no. This is not it. Utopia Station. We're a minute away. You know what? Let's get, let's get going here. Epsilon. That's where we need to go right here. I don't think there's impulse beans on this planet. This is a swampy planet. So no impulse beans here. 
but that's okay. We're going to do all our other steps, and then if we need to, we will cook our impulse beans. This game doesn't like to register things. That's great. You know, it's a speed run, but oh well, whatever. All right. Let's go over here. We need to get our instructions on where we need to go in order to build our base. But again, not required. Uh, boom, boom. There we go. Get over here. Grab that. Skipping through all of this. Then we're going to go right back to our ship. Get in there. Grab that. There we go. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's okay, though. Grab that one. Now we can get our map out of our thing here. Done and done. Chart. Where do we have to go? Like your final thing. And that's where we have to go. So let's head on over here. On this planet, on the final planet, you need to scan every animal on this planet. Now, that sounds like a substantial thing. There's only six animals on this planet. The only one that's really tricky is that there's a flying animal that only comes out during the day. So you're going to have to land and actually uh, search around during the day in order to find it. So keep that in mind. You will never see it at night. Not a big deal, but if you don't know that, it's going to be a pain in the butt because you're going to be walking around all night looking for an animal that's never going to show. So definitely keep that in mind. We're going to head over here. This looks like this is going to be our, uh, our location. I believe this is it. Oh, no, it's not. It's 400 feet that way. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Another one. You see, that's why it's not 100% guaranteed. So you can get tricked by that. That's okay, though. We need to get some uh, ferrite anyway. So we're okay. We're okay. We have a storm happening. Oh, no. That's even, even better. All right. Let's see where we can get some rocks going on here. All right, there we go. Okay, so it's a manufacturing facility. Great. So do we have enough? We do not have enough. So we need to get some magnetite or some uh, pure ferrite by refining this. There we go. Where's my rocks at? There's no rocks around here? I'm not seeing any rocks, you guys. Come on, rocks. Where are you? I guess we're going with the little ones. Little ones work, I guess. Get this guy right here. Again, you got to scan all the animals on this planet. So scan all of them you see. Any red dots. Get them. There we go. Let's refine that while we're looking for our other animals. And in, in the middle of a storm, it's going to be harder to find the animals too. So keep that in mind. They don't, you know, animals don't like sticking out in a storm. So I get it. I mean, I get it. All right, we got two more animals to go. We also need to get some uh, freaking stone. That was the one that caught me. That was the one that caught me, the uh, ferrite dust. I said it in the beginning, ferrite dust was going to be one of the ones that's really difficult. And, of course, that's the one that caught me. All right, done. Here we go. Give me these rocks. Done and done. We have plenty of chromatic metal. We just don't, we can't make our base. All right. Yep, that should be good. And we need 30. Done. Where's our ship at? I want to make my base near my ship. That way. I don't have to worry about, oh, I got to go here or there, whatever. Nope, I'm right here. Boom. Done. Done. And it, we're, this is going to be another one where we just throw down a whole bunch of flooring and be good to go. All right. Hazard protection. Great. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There we go. Upload that base. Now we need to multi-tool upgrade. Uh, multi-tool station. There it is. Just because it didn't register the first time. I'm pretty sure we did this, but maybe because we didn't have the milestone highlighted. That's why it wasn't doing it. I don't know. But we got that one done. Now we need to make a starship upgrade. So where's my starship? Oh, wait, we didn't accept our reward, right? Oh, we didn't. Yep. There we go. Now we have it. So now we can make a starship. We do need to buy one out of here. We do need to buy one out of here. We need to buy the hyperdrive upgrade and install that into our ship. So let's buy that one real quick. There it is. Done and done. So now that we have the blueprint, let's install that real fast. Microprocessors, chromatic metal, done. Did we make our uh, fuel yet? We did not. So let's make some fuel. Antimatter. And housing. We need ferrite dust. Dang it. Ferrite dust. We, we burned it all trying to make our base. So let's make some more out of our rocks. I already scan you guys. Oh, I didn't scan this guy over here. We have any ear animal? Yep, there you go. See, during the day, they come out. And so, can we make our... Uh, can we make that? We still need 20 more fuel. That's okay. We got this. Oh, I, did, I need the uh, metal, guys. Come on. There we go. We need to make this. Done. And now we need to make a warp cell. Done and done. There we go. Now we need to make our, our uh, analyzer so we can see where the gas is. We need wiring loom. We have wiring loom? If we're close enough to our ship, we do. All right. So wiring loom and done. Done, done, done. We have anything near us. Uh, proximity is over here. Perfect. There we go. So, right now, we can get any of them. So, you don't need to get just gas. However, I have a feeling we're going to run into a patch that's only going to make it to where you only can find a gas uh, extract. So, you need to make sure to go for gas. Make sure you go for the gas one because they're going to patch it. And done. So, did we get that one? We got that. Good to go. That one, good to go. That one. That one. That one. All right. So we definitely need to go get an impulse beam. Great. We have everything we can do right now. We can be done. We are officially done right now. However, we, we still need to do our impulse beam because it didn't register earlier. So great. Awesome. That's amazing. I love it. Thankfully, we do have our freaking uh, our nutrient processor with us. So we just need to go to the terrible purple planet and get that done so i mean we could go to this one paradise planet star bulbs on it so let's do that one one minute away great great so we can use this as well so we can clean up our inventory while we're here while we're here might as well right done done pulse engine module so oh i should have done that there you go that we can go a little bit faster so now we're going quicker not that it matters. So there we go. We're going to get an impulse bean. We already have all this stuff. We have our star bulb and everything. We just need the impulse bean. So, pain in my butt. The impulse beans are going to show up on Paradise Planets. Anything that has star bulb is going to have an impulse beam on it. So there you go. We're going to get rid of all the stuff we don't need. Oh, we have a mining beam upgrade. I'll take that. There you go. So, let's go over here. Leggy Colony, you're going to be where I make my freaking impulse bean, I hope. And you can kind of, if you fly low and slow, you can see them glowing. Again, you're going to have to wait for them to load in. So, sometimes if you're flying too fast, you won't be able to see them because they won't load in fast enough. So, in that case, you can just, like, stop. Like, we have enough uh, launch fuel, so we're good. Let's look around. Impulse beam, that's Star Bramble. We don't need that. We need an impulse beam. 
Um, impulse beans right there. Easy enough. Nutrient processor down. There we go. There we go. Prepare pilgrims tonic. I already did that. I already did that. And done. I think you have to have the uh, the milestone activated for it to count, which kind of pisses me off. I forgot to do that. Did we get it? Tell me we got it. Yep. That's all we need. Mother trucker. All right. That's fine. I don't care. We kind of got screwed on that one. That's okay, though. All we now need... Uh, now, all we need to do is go to a new system. So let's go over here. We're going to warp. We already filled up our thing. We're good to go. All we need to do is actually warp. Right there. Done and done. Hopefully... I'm hoping that we can get this done in under an hour. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> We're kind of close at one hour and 10 minutes. So let's go. Even though we had to do our impulse beans twice. Or our uh, cooking twice, I should say. Oh, are we too close? We're too close. We got to manually fly in. This is adding more to our time. That's okay. We got it done in an hour and 10 minutes you guys that was the final one we had so i'm gonna stop the timer there hour 10 minutes done look at that and while we're heading in here we're gonna make a save by getting out of our ship that makes an auto save so done we're good so now i'm gonna show you we got phase one done phase two done phase three done cooking twice thank you Phase four done. Phase five is done. Final phase is done. We got all the phases done. You can collect your rewards. When you collect all of your rewards, it will actually turn this into a normal save. All right, so collect your rewards. Get your cool uh, Utopia Speeder Starship. Now let's see how long that took us in the game. So we're gonna, we're gonna back out into here and it took us exactly one hour one hour to finish this game you guys holy crap we actually set a record doing this i love it even though we did it twice we had to cook twice we still beat the record hopefully you guys like this video if you did hit that like button and i will see you guys next time